this may or may not be my very last viewing session here at the gonna be old studio, but I gotta show you somebody. Look at this cute little face. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> she just woke up, but this is all bittersweet, but very, very exciting. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you have more hair than me. <laughs> So let me show you what's uh, been happening. This room isn't really, doesn't look that bad, but all of these things in this front room are going bye-bye tomorrow. Way cleaner. That'll be gone. All right, we're getting a little bit closer to finishing up our moving, but nothing like another load to do. <laughs> Go, Julia. Is it weird? She was taking a nap before she came. She was sleeping yeah, in my bed. Skinny. It's a shotgun. So look, this, this studio is only like 15 feet wide. Um, we call it a shotgun because we have shotgun houses in, uh, in New Orleans. Meaning if you took a shotgun at the front entrance and you pulled the trigger, you, you'd shoot right through the whole house clean. That's why they used to call them shotgun houses. But, Everything's gone now. Wow. It's the last day in here, so we're taking some pictures. <laughs> A building is just a building, right? Like your mom and dad's house that you grew up in. To anybody else, it's just a house. But you have all those crazy memories, all those years. Well, we have that too here. And I live through my clients. I always do. I love how many memories I've shared with so many of you, my clients, who we hate to even say the word clients because you're, you're practically family and, and friends. We see each other all the time around the city. It's the one blessing of New Orleans being small. This is, um, this is my last day here. Tomorrow I call Entergy and shut the power off. Turn the key back in. And this baby is history, literally. <laughs>
Cheers to new beginnings, right? It's like closing out a bar tab. Give them your credit card, say close me out. Here are my keys. I'm closing out the studio, man. It was 19 years of joy. Done. Let me show you the studio now. So the, the goal for me was I love the square that I have of my studio, so I have a little width. And you need more width than you do uh, distance sometimes for shooting, just because of your lights and stands and all that good stuff. So one of the best investments I've recently made were these dollies. Let me show you these little dollies. This dolly right here. It folds up, but any stand can go on it. Like your main light. All I gotta do is roll. Bam. So these dollies, have the uh, wheel locks. You got a nice little piece of Velcro here that also grabs the stand. And that thing folds up. So look, you don't need a big fancy camera to take beautiful pictures. And the same thing goes for your studio, your shooting area. You don't need a big fancy studio to create inside of. I mean, you need enough room to store your stuff and move around. But I have my ambiance right over here. So this is where I sit. I love how my Mac will also airplay over there. This was something I got new. It's a little hub. So my drives plug into it. The hub goes to my laptop. And it charges my laptop as well. So this is all I need. Most of the time, I'm in my studio for headshots and small children, and that does not require a whole lot of space. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what is this? What is that? This is two white nine foot paper rolls that overlap each other. I'm getting ready to tape that together from behind, and now I have almost a 15 plus foot wide white background. And up here, I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put my legs. See how that one is like this? We're gonna figure this out maybe next week. But my my goal was to be able to put bands or insurance agents, because it does a team, as a group, sometimes five or more. And instead of photographing them individually, which I do love to do, by the way, there's a look to that. You just can't get anywhere else. But to be able to put a large group in here is awesome. That I could not do at my old studio. I only had 14 and a half, 15 feet wide total. That's including my lights. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so I had to show you this before I left this video. Um, one thing I'm really, really proud of is being able to take my X-T3, tether it to my laptop, and the TV I have has airplay. So when I go click, 
the second image is over here. So look, you guys, just to kind of close this thing out, uh, the move is, is awesome. I love the space. I love sharing it with Eric. It's fun to have somebody else in the building. But the amount of creativity that's kind of happening, it's fun. Change is good sometimes. Um, I know this COVID thing has been a serious, serious problem for many, many people. As I drive around downtown, I've never seen so many signs that says for lease or for sale. So I understand the struggle. And if that's you, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I get it. But just know that even in tough times, this is when you push the hardest. This is where your true friends are important for your own growth. And remember, if you're helping somebody else that needs the helping hand, it's 100% gonna help you grow as a human being. All right, you guys, stay focused on your dreams. I will see you in the next video. That's gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> my favorite place for my hats, man. You come to New Orleans, you gotta go to Maya the Hatter. That's the place.